Many of the world's scientists who are working to create a COVID-19 vaccine are operating in a kind of global effort that really hasn't existed before. I've never before seen such a huge level of, of cooperation and collaboration, sharing of information. Uh, it's been totally selfless and, and I think it's a, a, a great tribute to international science. Scientists say that sharing of information has helped increase what they know about COVID-19 and will likely reduce the amount of time it takes to produce a vaccine, potentially in just 18 months. And it's important to point out, actually, we're sort of really learning a lot as we go, and it's coming out very rapidly. Professor Stephen Turner heads Monash University's Biomedical Discovery Institute. He specializes in studying how the body's immune system mounts defenses against viruses. Turner believes that knowing where a virus has come from can help in better understanding how it behaves. Scientists say about 75% of all viruses found in humans came from animals, and they say COVID-19 is no different. What they don't know in this case is which specific animal it came from. One way to think about this is um, how related is this virus to um, viruses that are currently circulating in um, animal reservoirs, such as the bats. Um, and the closest relative to the virus that's currently causing the pandemic is found in these horse nose or horseshoe bats, uh, which are very small mammals, but it's distantly related. So it's closely related, but it's distantly related. Um, so this would be like being related, you know, to an uncle, you know, maybe a couple of times removed. One theory being investigated is the virus may have originated in a Wuhan live animal market and possibly made the jump to humans from a small mammal called a pangolin. Turner says the kind of virus that's circulating in pangolins has similarities to COVID-19, but isn't necessarily related. So the virus didn't really come from pangolins in that sense. Um, it must have come from somewhere else, likely an intermediate host, probably a mammal. Um, but until we actually do the surveys to sort of find out where these viruses are and whether we can find rather an uncle, we can find sort of a brother or sister or a parent, in terms of relation, we won't know. And he says scientists don't know how long the virus may have existed in humans before it caused the pandemic. Ragnabaro, CGTN, Sydney.